गीता साधना सोपाना पे परम पूज्य श्री 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 सच्चिदानंदेन्द्र सरस्वती महास्वामी जी अध्यात्म प्रकाश कार्यालय होड़े नरसीपुर इंडिया प्रीफेस ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि हि ओम श्री गणेशा जनमः The present text is the outcome of some 50 years of Gita study, contemplation and practice by His Holiness Sri Swami Atmanandendra Saraswati. He is the direct disciple of the sage Holiness Sipur, His Holiness Sri Swami Sachidanandendra Saraswati Swamiji. The Gita Sadhana Sopana neither appeals to any particular commentary nor to any other outside authority but comes to its conclusions merely from a close examination of the verses of the Gita itself. The text as its little, uh, as its title suggests, consists of an extensive presentation of exactly how a true seeker of self-realization is to proceed, wherein the performance of actions, karmas, done in a particular fashion rather than their mere renunciation are shown to be the means to our final and complete release from samsara. In Advaita Vedanta, the Bhagavad Gita has been called Sadhana Prasthana, the approach to Vedanta where the emphasis is on spiritual practice and this is so because unlike the other two um, Prasthanas, the Upanishads and Brahma Sutras, the Gita primarily deals with the practical spiritual discipl disciplines necessary to attain self-realization. For those aspirants who are not merely interested in studying Advaita Vedanta, learning its concepts and intellectually appreciating its perspectives, but who actually want to make progress on the spiritual path and therefore sincerely want to know what exactly are the spiritual disciplines, how they are related to one another and precisely how they are to be practiced and in what order. For this type of seeker, this text will become an invaluable resource. It sheds a new light on topics where before uh, there was mostly confusion and contradictory presentations available. The Gita Sadhana Sopana presents a wonderful display of unique and thought-provoking ideas concerning the actual details of the practices and the final goal as taught in the Gita. The true meaning of the word yoga, how the spiritual disciplines telescope one into the other and what exactly is the real nature of a wise man, jnani, these and other topics are all addressed in ways that most readers and even Gita scholars are not likely to be familiar with. A short word about how this text, the Gita Sadhana Sopana, has taken its present form may be helpful to the reader. Originally, Sri Swami Atmananda Saraswati had no intention of writing a book about the spiritual disciplines taught in the Gita. He merely started writing down his ideas and at some point those ideas were typed into a rough manuscript. Over the years he added new ideas and expanded on some topics that he had only briefly touched upon previously by writing in the margins of the text or by inserting many handwritten notes into the rough manuscript. There still remained many years many areas where Sri Swamiji felt that additional work has needed, was needed both in elaborating certain difficult parts of the text and also in presenting his ideas in a more flowing and coherent manner. Rather than addressing such issues as trying to clarify the difficult points or attempting to make the text flow in a more orderly manner, the present Gita Sadhana Sopan is merely the outcome of an attempt to take the original typed manuscript with all its addendums and handwritten notes and put into put it into a form that is as readable, readable, understandable and informative as possible within the constraints of and in harmony with the ideas contained in the unfinished original manuscript. Nor have we, the editors, tried to change the style of writing, nor the format of the text which is divided into two parts. Part 1 first gives a wide ranging overview and while it uh, may seem that some of the ideas and topics presented are disconnected with the main import of the text and certain interesting facts seem to be presented out of the context while discussing other subject matters. This should not be an obstacle to the reader who is trying to discern the main thrust of thought that is going to be presented in a more 
uh, religious manner in part two and uh, which deals more specifically with the steps to realization. This situation may challenge the reader more than uh, had Sri Swamiji written the text at one time and we could now present it in a totally finished and systematic way. However, we are confident that in spite of these issues, any extra effort required on the part of the reader will be found to be more than worthwhile. It should also be noted that the text is filled with numerous citations from various verses of the Bhagavad Gita and presupposes the reader's familiarity with the text as a whole and the classical Indian philosophical traditions in general. We recommend for those who are not extremely conversant with these topics that while reading this text, a copy of the Gita with translation be readily available in order to consider the reference to verses. For those of us, who have been earnestly trying to correctly understand the nature of the spiritual disciplines and their result, Vedantic knowledge as envisioned in Advaita Vedanta, Sri Swami Atmananda in research of this Gita Sadhana Sopana, steps to self-realization as taught in the Bhagavad Gita, presents us with a truly profound and revelatory account in which Vedantic knowledge is not some sort of subtle intellectualism nor is it to be attained by a special modification of the mind, akhanda akara vritti, nor by any special trance state samadhi. Vedantic knowledge as explained by Sri Swamiji is something that can be attained only by an uh, unswerving devotion, bhakti, to the Supreme Being alone. A bhakti is so sublime that Due to the grace of that Supreme Being, even the idea, I am a Bhakta, will have merged. We are hopeful that after a careful study of the Gita Sadhana Sopana, this text will be appreciated not, not only as a significant contribution to our understanding of the Bhagavad Gita, but more importantly that it will come to be seen as an extremely significant aid and guide for those who are truly pursuing the goal of Self-Realization as we get to stand on the shoulders of a spiritual giant, Sri Swami Atmananda in the Saraswati. However, even if this Gita Sadhana Sopana were to merely have the effect of stimulating a few of its readers to further their efforts to, in understanding the true purport of the Bhagavad Gita, we feel confident that Sri Swamiji would also consider that result as quite satisfactory and his efforts not at all in vain. So, we shall enter the subject proper in the next session. This is a part one, background and general considerations. A common understanding regarding the teaching of the Gita. Let us know our study in the next session. Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Sadguru Charana Arpiramastu, Sarvejana Sukhino Bhontu, Lokas Samastha Sukhino Bhontu, Sajana Santu Nirbhaya, Krishna Arpiramastu, Om Tatsat.